What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and right now I feel very weird filming that style of intro with this camera because this is like vlog style right now. But I'm about to film a beauty related video for you guys because it has been so long since I've done that and I do feel a little bit weird right now. But we're going to try and make this work because today I am finally going to be unpacking all of my makeup and organizing it and putting it away and showing you guys exactly how I do that throughout the process because you guys have been pretty interested sending me requests and whatnot on snapchat if you don't have me on snap you know what to do but yeah if you haven't been keeping up to date with me I did recently move house and I've pretty much neglected this room I thought it would be on the top of my priority list but to be honest like unpacking an entire house yourself and just organizing everything by yourself it's hard work, let me tell you. So I'm finally setting aside time this afternoon to unpack all of my makeup, set it up, organize it, all that good stuff. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to do this for what feels like ages now because that means I can really get back into a routine of filming tutorials and whatnot for you guys, which I know a lot of you guys are keen on. So yeah, I just opened the boxes and I am staring at everything and I honestly don't know where to start but we're just gonna go with the flow of things and see how things turn out I guess. Alright so this is the majority of my makeup packed up into these boxes. Um, when I was packing everything I pretty much just took everything as it was and threw it in a box and packed it up. Like I did not fuss over it, I just threw it in there and was good to go. So to be honest I can't even remember like what I put where. There's also that box over there which I think has my like foundations and lipsticks in so I also need to go through that as well. But it actually is kind of good that I kept everything in their containers because that'll make it a lot easier when it comes to putting everything into these babies right here. So this is where I'll be storing my makeup, which is perfect because it's right next to my desk, which means if I ever need anything, I can just switch around over here, grab what I need, and yeah, it just makes everything a lot easier. Plus, I like that it is like out of sight because it is in the wardrobe, so it just makes it a lot easier when it comes to making things look a lot less cluttered, in my opinion. So I guess you could call this my like little beauty wardrobe because it has pretty much everything I need in here in terms of like makeup, filming equipment and whatnot. As you can see, I just keep my ring light over there. So what we're focusing on today is this right here. So these are the Alex Nine Drawers, which I'm sure a lot of you guys would have heard of because pretty much everyone and their mum has these when it comes to storing makeup just because they are pretty practical in the sense that it provides a lot of vertical storage in a very compact way so that it's not taking up so much room, which is why I like it. Alright, so how am I going to do this? I don't really know where to begin, you guys. I'm kind of just going with the flow of things right now. Alrighty, so now that you know what all of this is going to be going into, let's... I guess sort through everything. I think I might also declutter some things throughout this process because I do have a lot of makeup that I don't really reach for or use anymore. Plus I'm sure there's a lot of old stuff in here as well. So your girl does need to declutter. All right, I feel like I should just start off by taking everything out of this box and then I'll just go from there, I suppose. Surprisingly enough, most of my makeup fit in this entire box. Maybe like one and a half of these boxes. Sorry if you can hear cars in the background. It's like that time of the day where people are coming home from work. So if you hear any like background noise, that's what it is. Okay, let me start off with these first. So for those of you guys who are wondering um, where I get these acrylic containers from, I'm pretty sure like if you're here in Australia, you can get them from Big W or Howard Storage World. And I'm pretty sure if you're in the US, you can get them from, oh, what's that store called? There's a specific store that you guys have over in the US that um, just has a whole bunch of like storage stuff. Someone comment down below and tell me what it is because I know what it is, but I just can't remember the name. But um, yeah, essentially this is from the brand, where is it? Into Design. If you can see it right there, Into Design. And they don't fit perfectly in these Alex drawers, but they do a pretty good job. I like that they can kind of... Um, fit together in a sense like in the drawers they kind of just match up nicely and there's never any like weird gaps because they all kind of go together so as you can see like it just they always stay uniform there's nothing mismatched about them so that is why I pretty much decided to invest in this kind of storage one thing I should warn you guys about though is that these containers like they're not cheap I'm pretty sure 
they run from anywhere to like eight dollars each to fifteen dollars each it just really depends on what kind of sizes you want and how many you want obviously i did go ahead and invest in a lot just because you know i'm an organization freak if you want me to come and organize your house let me know because i'm good at that stuff <laughs> but yeah these aren't cheap however if you live here in australia i know that kmart does a really inexpensive line of acrylic storage containers pretty much exactly the same as this like if i had seen that before because i bought all this stuff a long 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 time ago but i swear if kmart had that stuff earlier i would have been on that real quick but this is what i have for now so that's just my tip for you guys if you live in australia definitely source out some containers from Kmart. Alrighty, so how are we gonna start this? I think I am just going to... Hmm, should I empty everything out and then just pick and choose from there? I think that's what I'm gonna do, you guys. So I'm going to kind of categorize everything into each um, section, like, of the face. So, like, blushes, highlighters, eyeliners eyeshadows that kind of thing and then I'll go through everything with you guys and figure out like what I'm going to keep and how I'm going to store it and also how I'm going to lay everything out in the drawers let's rock let's rock can you love me all day will you stop me can you take it to the top of me I just want to love you baby the only thing I'm loving you know you baby guys we are halfway through the process i've pretty much gathered that i want to keep all this stuff and then i'm about to put all the stuff that i'm like throwing away into here bear in mind like you guys might be thinking like oh why didn't you give it away to be honest this stuff is just really old so um it wouldn't be worth giving away because it honestly just is no good anymore but yeah this is how everything is looking so far so this is pretty much like highlighters blushes brow stuff eye stuff that kind of thing and then next up i think what i have left to go through is um yeah all the lip products and also foundations concealers all that kind of stuff so let's do this <laughs> I've pretty much finished with one box, all that's left in there um, are palettes, which I can go through later on. But I'm going to start putting this into the Alex drawers and I'll show you how I like categorize everything. So to start with, I'm going to keep this top drawer for um, like base, so primers, concealers, that kind of thing, foundation. Pretty sure this is going to be a foundation one as well. And then I'll start with this one. So this will be... Oh yeah, I'm going to put my blushes and stuff into this one. So let's just grab all these first and then just kind of see how they fit in there, I guess. And we'll work from there. I think I'm going to make this drawer right here um, just for highlighters because I actually do have quite a few. We'll do highlighters and blushes in this one, actually. So um that can go back there like so and then we'll put the blush at the front i guess does that work yes that fits okay see what i mean how like everything fits together it's kind of like a puzzle and there is like a gap on the side which kind of bugs me but it is what it is plus like if you wanted to put anything along here you totally could which I'm just going to put um, my Ofra highlighters along there because unfortunately I don't have enough um, space in this container here which is where I would put them so they can just sit along there and that's pretty much one drawer down. I'm going to put all of the lip products into this one over here so obviously you guys know that I'm going to put the lipsticks up top and then 
yeah, I'll just grab these and um, put them into there, I guess. I'll put the liquid lipsticks first. Also the lip liners as well and the lip pencils. Liquid lipsticks. Yep. Okay, we got this. It's crazy because I actually can't even remember how I had everything set up when I was at the old place. I could totally go back and watch a video, but this kind of makes it a little more fun for me. So um, I'm just going to put it like that. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to swap this real quick. This is how you know I'm a perfectionist because I like everything to be like very uniform and the same. So then everything is like opposite, like there's a gap on this side and then a gap on this side. <laughs> you guys, I'm weird like that. Like I just like everything to be symmetrical somewhat and uniform. But anyways, so we got the lip pencils. These, I think I have to switch these. Put that like that. Yeah, no, yeah. I think I had two drawers of um, lip products before. I can't remember. All right, this is how I did it before, I think. Um, like this, and then, no, yes, no, oh, I can't remember. Oh, I remember now, okay. I had this one little container just for this. And then I think I put um, this up top, like this. I don't remember having that much space, but maybe there's something in other boxes that would fill that spot. I don't know. But anyway, that's how it's looking so far for lips. I think under that I put the eye stuff. Yes. I got rid of so many mascaras, you guys, just because I had a whole heap of like old ones that I just never threw away. And obviously I wasn't using them because they're like, what? So old, like months old. Um, but I just kept them because I just throw them in the door and then forget about them. So I'm gonna do it like this. We've got the primers, like eye primers and stuff, liner, liquid liners, and then pencil liners, brow stuff, and then mascaras at the back. And then I have an extra container. I don't think this goes there though. No, I don't think it does. This is a mission, you guys. I didn't realize how time-consuming this would be. I thought it would be a lot quicker, but I guess not. So next up, let's have a look at the palettes. Ooh, actually, I have more containers in here. Okay, I totally forgot about these. We've got um, eyeshadow compacts, like quads and whatnot, cream bases. Wow, there's so much random stuff in here. I don't even remember packing all this, to be honest. And... Wow, okay, bronzes. I totally don't remember having all this stuff, but okay. Let's just work with this first. Pretty much keep everything in here, but I think I'm gonna throw, yes, that needs to go. I'm pretty sure this was my first ever like eyeshadow compact when I was a kid, and I kept it for sentimental reasons, but we can throw her away now. She's, she's done her time. You've been good to me. <laughs> Um, I'm also going to get rid of these because, to be honest, I don't think I'd ever use them and I don't even know if they're, like, available anymore. So it's kind of pointless for me to keep them. This as well was another one of, like, my first ever eyeshadow compacts when I was a teenager and I thought I was so poppin' with my black shimmery grey eyeshadow with gold and white. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. You definitely want to keep these because these are bomb. If you don't know what they are, they are these Steel and Magnificent Metals, um liquid eyeshadows and oh my goodness me they are so good like if you want your eyes to be popping this is it right here like they are so shimmery it's insane i love these and i'm just gonna keep all these bases for now see what i can do with them if i don't want them anymore later on if i decide i'll just throw them away but for now i'm gonna keep them we'll just um keep all of this for now i think I'm just gonna find a spot for them in the drawers. Alright, so all the bronzes and stuff, these can go um, yeah, underneath the blushes and highlights. I'm pretty sure that's how I had it set up last time. Honestly, it's so difficult to like make these sit nicely 
in a container just because there's so many different sizes um but that can just stay like that for now and then underneath this is where i'm going to put these um eye bases and eyeshadow compacts and all that so we'll start off with this i don't know why but this is just so satisfying to me like how this perfectly fits in there like i just i'm down for that <laughs> Alrighty, so that's another drawer done all right, next up, what do we have in this box? I haven't looked in this one yet. I think these are all my brushes. Looks like it. Okay, we'll just put that to the side. In here, I have all of my lashes, and I'm pretty sure I just kept these, like, as is in one of the, um, the drawers. And then we have all the rest of my, um, face products in here, which I totally forgot about all this okay i'm gonna have to figure out how i'm gonna fit those so let me just think about this for a sec i didn't realize how much stuff i had you guys honestly pretty sure i had extra storage containers for all these lashes so i have to find those in one of the boxes as well Whew, i'm already out of breath you guys this video is so all over the place but to be honest i had no real idea of how I was going to film this. There wasn't really any structure to it. I just needed to get all this unboxed and put away and I know you guys were keen to see the process so even if I wasn't filming it, this is how I would be unpacking everything. Just really like all over the place so <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Alright guys I just pulled out all my lashes and I've thrown them in a pile on the ground because I'm going to go through them and kind of pick and choose how I'm going to organize them. But this is pretty much what I use to store my lashes in the drawers so these are essentially just just um, stackable storage containers. I'm pretty sure I got these from Kmart and I'm pretty sure they do still sell them. I don't know if they come by themselves or if they come in twos, I can't remember, but I do know that they're like in the bathroom storage section if you are ever looking for them. But these actually fit perfectly side by side in the drawers. The only thing is they do come with lids, so I think I threw the lids away, but I mean, if you're not too bothered by like spending money just for the containers and not keeping the lids and that's all good. So basically I store my lashes like this and it just makes it a lot easier because I can kind of just see the names on the back and also they just kind of fit in there really nicely and I am going to put them in the deeper drawers so then everything can stand upright nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Baby, baby, Next up is foundations, concealers, color correctors, all that good stuff. And yes, I know this is a lot. I have to admit it is a lot. And I'm pretty sure a lot of this I am going to be throwing away just because it would be old or I just don't use them anymore. But the reason why I have so many foundations and whatnot is because I do enjoy testing out how different formulas react on my skin personally. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you know that I really do like to do first impressions on foundations. And that is my reasoning behind why I have so many. But yeah, I'm pretty much just going to go through all of this and um, figure out which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to throw. Because I'm pretty sure some of these are past their due date. So I definitely need to go through them and figure out which ones I want to keep. This is how the foundation and concealer drawer is looking so far. It looks pretty satisfying having it all laid out like that, but I have all these extra ones, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, throw them on top, I guess. I'm so excited to use this foundation again. You guys, if you haven't seen my first impression, I'll leave a link up top. All right, that is done. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and organize all of my palettes. I like to put them in the deeper drawers, obviously, just so that they can stand, like, upright in the drawers. And what I use to hold them in place are these. So 
pretty much I know this just looks like a piece of like acrylic perspex but I got these online I'll leave a link to the website where I got them right here and also in the description box but these are actually custom made to fit into these Alex drawers and as you can see these go along the sides because they have the um, divots within them and then basically you grab the other ones and fit them into place and so on and so forth and that kind of makes like the little compartments for your palettes to sit up in just like so if that makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and set that up and i'll show you how it looks once i'm done So I just finished organizing all the palettes and as you can see everything is laid out nicely same with this side and then the palettes that um, can't fit like that can't be standing up if that makes sense they just all go in here so palettes are done I think all that I have left to do now are my lipsticks and then all of the other bits and pieces like uh, where are they all this stuff over here like the extra bits and pieces like skincare, moisturizers, face masks, all that kind of thing. So, oh, I have a razor in here. <laughs> As for my lipsticks, they're just pretty much going to go into this thing. I don't know what you call these, like drawer dividers, I guess. You can get ones like this from the same company that creates these, but I got this before I got that, if that makes sense. So um, I kind of just dealt with it and kept it as it is, but essentially you can customize this to fit the drawers. You don't have to use them just for like lipsticks. You can of course do them in any way that you want, but for me, they fit perfectly for lipsticks. And if you're wondering where I got this from, I got it from Daiso, but I had to get a couple of packets because one packet does not fill up an entire drawer. And I do have extras, but for now, this is all I need in terms of my lipsticks. So yeah, Daiso, if you're looking for these. <laughs> My makeup is pretty much all packed away at this point, so I guess I'll give you all like a quick little overview tour of how everything looks all together. But as you can see on top, I'm just keeping all of my brushes in these little acrylic containers. I got these from Kmart. I think they were like $4 each. You can find them in the stationery section. I used to have those little white pots from Ikea with rice in them, but I just found that the rice was really annoying. Like it would get everywhere whenever I'd pull the brushes out and I just feel like this looks a little more like cleaner and minimalistic, which is what I'm into at the moment. So yeah. <laughs> all right. So let me give you guys a quick little overview. First drawer has all of the foundations and concealers and color correctors. Next we have um, base stuff, so like primers, setting powders, that kind of thing. Then this is probably my favorite drawer. This has all the blushes and highlighters. You guys know I live for a good highlight. But um, everything fit in here pretty nicely, which is good. So yes, one of my favorite drawers, of course, is the highlight drawer. And then underneath, I just have all of my contours and bronzers and also some like setting sprays, face sprays, brush cleaner at the back here. This drawer just has like eye bases, glitters, um, a couple of like little eyeshadow compacts back there. And then, I don't remember what this one is. Oh, <laughs> this is one of the palette drawers. So you guys would have seen this in my previous um, makeup collection videos. Nothing really much has changed in my collection, to be honest, guys, because I haven't been buying much makeup lately. Underneath, of course, are all the lashes. This one, I'm pretty sure, is just like skincare, samples, um, colored contacts and stuff. 
And then this one just has a couple of um, empty MAC Pro Longwear Concealer um, containers because you can actually take these back to MAC and they will give you um, like a free product for a certain amount of empties that you bring. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but that's pretty much why I keep um, <laughs> all of these just because they can be recycled. So I just haven't gone in to take them back. Up the top here are all the lipsticks and then underneath are some more lip products. So like lip glosses, lip um, pencils, lip liners. This is just a base from Sigma to kind of like cancel out any color on your lips if you have super pigmented lips like I do. More liquid lipsticks and then underneath is more lip products, more lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, that kind of thing. Then we have the, what is this? Eye stuff? Yeah, eye stuff. So brows, mascaras, little tools and stuff, eye bases, liquid liners and pencils, and then more palettes that I couldn't stand up. And then another palette drawer. This is more like miscellaneous palettes as you would have seen this is more of my like prettier palettes all the higher end stuff I guess and then this is just kind of like miscellaneous so we've got a mix of like face palettes and eye palettes that kind of thing and then this one has more random stuff so like more samples more like glitter headbands my Clarisonic this one more random things I guess I don't know I don't think I'm going to be using any more black hair color on my hair anymore I don't know I've been thinking about going lighter with my hair lately but I'm not sure, so I'm not going to be using this and I don't know why I still have it. And then lastly, I didn't really know what to do with these because I don't think I'm going to use them anymore, but some of them haven't been touched, so I'm kind of just keeping them here for now. And um, i got to figure out what I'm going to do with them or where I'm going to put them. And then I just have like travel um, makeup bags and that kind of thing. So yeah, you guys, that's everything. We unpacked my makeup, everything is all set, ready to go, and it feels so good now that everything is put away. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're still here watching because I know this is a long one and I appreciate you if you're still here at the end watching, you're a real one. Anyways, you guys, I will talk to you down in the comments and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.